This is just an ordinary year 11 class in St Mary's High School in Ewing. But there's an extraordinary girl in this class. This is Lauren Hogg and she competes globally for motocross. How did you first become involved with motocross? When I was younger, my dad bought me a quad and then when I started to get really good on it, he's put me in for the racing. What is the biggest competition you have done yet? The biggest competition would probably be the Ulster and Irish MRN, but we have the chance to race in different countries, which now I've signed a petition to allow girls to race. Is scurrying known that you have actually made history and changed motocross rules? It is, but I'm delighted to see more girls now partake in a sport that's mainly dominated by males. How many vote, votes did you gain in the petition? I got over 2,000 from both men and women. Do you have any training or competitions coming up? Yes, I'm competing in the Southern Centre first round at Dundalk this weekend. What is your routine for motocross and how do you fit it in with your school life? It's normally very busy. After school I'd usually have an hour to come home and do my homework. Then afterwards we would head out to the track or partake in other physical sports. But not only does Lauren do motocross, she also has a great interest in baking. Why do you enjoy baking? It gives me a chance to be artistic and creative. Do you do it just for fun? No, I actually have a small business and any money we make goes back into my mum's charity. What is your mum's charity and what does it fund? My mum's charity is the MS Therapy Centre in Uri. It provides hyperbaric oxygen chamber for those who have incurable diseases. Lauren has changed the rights for girls living as far away as Australia, but closer to home she has changed lives for people living with MS. This is Loretta. And this is Kira, recording for BBC School Report at St Mary's High School in Uri.